So when we're looking for lengths of right triangles, Pythagorean theorem pops to mind, right? And so you're like, okay, a squared plus, ah oh crap, I don't know that squared. And then same thing here, we're missing stuff. And so my dad always told me when you want to know something that you don't know already, call it x, give it a, give it a name. And I'd be like, dad, that's too many variables. But he'd be like, it'll work itself out. So if I call this guy x, then this guy here will be 6 minus that, because this length here isn't the whole length, just take away that x and I'll have that. And so now I'll have two equations with two unknowns, one equation for this triangle, one equation for that triangle, and it'll be gorgeous. So for the left triangle, I'll have a squared plus x squared equals 2 squared, so that's 4. And for this triangle, I'll have a squared plus uh, 6 minus x squared equals 25 two equations to unknowns, now I can solve. In fact, this is really nice. I can actually just subtract these two equations from each other. A little elimination, those a squareds actually go away. And then I'll just have x squared minus 6 minus x squared on the left, and 4 minus 25 is minus 21 on the right. You could also solve both of them for a squared and set them equal to each other works the same way. I think that's what the answers guide does. Um, so we keep going. If you were to FOIL this guy out, 6 minus x times 6 minus x, you'd get 36 minus 12x plus x squared equals negative 21. The x squared minus the x squared goes away, and then I'll just have minus 36 plus 12x equals minus 21. Add the 36 over, I'll get 15 divided by 12, I get x is 15 divided by 12, divided by 3, I get 5 over 4 for the x. And of course that's not what they wanted, they wanted the a, but that's okay. Just plug it back into either one of your original equations. a squared plus 5 over 4 squared is going to give me 4. So a squared uh, plus 25 over 16 will be 4. So a squared will equal 4 minus 25 over 16. So a will be the square root of this thing. So 4 minus 25 over 16. And so if I get a common denominator of uh, 16, 4 times, so multiply this guy top and bottom by fancy form of 1, 16 over 16. So 4 times 16 is 64, so that's 64 sixteenths minus twenty-five sixteenths, so that's the square root of thirty-nine sixteenths, so the square root of thirty-nine over four. And that is what you wanted to know. So again, if you're missing something, don't be afraid to assign it a variable and see what equations you can make, and then uh, just a little bit of juggling, and we've got it.